This is the weirdo journal that I have written about on my blog, and I'm calling it that for a number of reasons. But one is because um, at the time I made this journal in 2003, I couldn't get the paper uh, that I made it with um, in full sheets. And so I used paper that I got in pads. And I tend not to use padded paper because the padding process depresses the tooth of the paper and changes the workability of the paper. But I really wanted to try this paper. I'm not Italian, so my pronunciation is all messed up, but it's Magnani Anagoni Designo. And um, it's a tanned paper that is um, uh, for wet media and very fun to work on for those reasons and great with gouache. So I wanted to go quickly through this journal to show the things I've been doing on it so that people get an idea of how I've been building up these pages, some of which I've already talked about on my blog. The tabs are already in the book when I created it. And I'll talk more about that, uh, on, or write more about that on my blog. Um, here I saved this uh, rectangular piece with some rubber stamp ink for a, a painting, which I never got around to doing, so I ended up painting on a piece of paper and cutting that drawing out and sticking it in there. I did a color pencil test with a piece of chocolate on this paper. Um, it doesn't work, like I say, as the full sheets do, so it was a little bit more um, uh, less interested in taking the color pencil. Uh, but it does do some nice brush work. Uh, here's some more uh, doodles and whatnot that I'm sticking down. Uh, this, I took a piece of paper here and I painted on it before sticking it in the book and then stuck it in the book so that it flips over here, goes across the page, the rubber stamping was added later, and then comes along here. This wasn't painted until it went in the book. And then the day that I came to this page, I ended up painting. I'm working in 60 second increments on my little digital camera, so this will be a little choppy. Um, I took these squash to my color pencil class, and when I came home, I did these quick studies on these pages. Now, this graph paper was already on this page because I'd previously drawn this gentleman and cut him out here and stuck him down and wrapped him over. Decorative paper that I'd made for my book covers, I had scraps left, and so that's featured throughout, just plopped down, and then this material was added later. This gentleman was drawn on a pad of graph paper, put down over some rubber stamp ink, the foil was added, and everything was left. Later I came back and wrote my notes, did some rubber stamping, painted over that with gouache. Pretty self-explanatory, quick drawing with gouache. Some writing, a postcard someone sent me, conveniently attached to the tab between these two pages. A stapillo tone drawing. Uh, the um, glassine is inserted here because this will smudge. These postage stamps were already put down there. It's the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and I thought it was kind of fun to have all of them. Some of these papers are glued over the foredge, as you've seen earlier. Again, that's some decorative paper I made for book binding. Some record keeping, photo of some friends, some books that I just made paper separating the, or holding together the area between the two sigs. This paper has a habit of delaminating there. Other decorative papers added, and I'm showing you this because I did all of this a couple of, e of evenings, and I will go back. Here's a text page. I'll probably highlight some text depending on what ends up going here. So I'm just sort of building these a little bit at a time. Random things. To give you an idea of how I might be building these pages, um, this is a bird I drew, and it was on graph paper. I seem to really like the graph paper on this toned paper, and I'll be adding something collage down here to fill up this space. Don't know what, don't know what'll go over here, but I'll just build it when I get there. Uh, scrap of paper added to the edge. I have used some more rubber stamping, metallic stamping, and here's some acrylic paint and some more decorative paper. I think that's about it. So this will give you an idea of what I've done so far and I'll take a another video of this when I finish everything in the book. But I thought it might be fun for you to see how the pages had started to build.